Hello, I am Dr. Manoj Pratapan, Associate Professor of Thermology at Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences and Glaucoma Consultant. Uh, I am happy that the uh, Audit of Thermological Society is having January this month as the Glaucoma Awareness Month. And as part of this, we are making multiple uh, short videos for public awareness. The topic given to me is how to diagnose glaucoma and how to investigate it. So coming to diagnosis, uh, after the vision and glass power is checked, we will be examining the eye of the patient in this with this instrument called slit lamp by microscope. This gives a stereoscopic magnified uh, imaging of the eye. In addition to that, we have this instrument mounted on this. It's a Goldman applanation tonometer with which we can measure the intraocular pressure. Normal pressure range ranges from 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. After that, we use two additional lenses. This is a goniscope. Goniscope helps us to see the angle of the antenna chamber. That is the area where the drainage of aqueous happens. This is a 90 dab lens used to see the posterior part of the eye where the nerve of the eye lies. With this meticulous examination, we can diagnose glaucoma. Once the diagnosis is made, we need to do some advanced investigations. The common investigation done is uh, Humphrey's field analysis to look at the visual fields of the patient. We can assess the amount of vision loss the patient is having. Next is an OCG scan. Uh, this scan measures the actual structural damage that has happened to the nerve there. We may also consider doing few additional tests like uh, a pachymetry which assesses the thickness of the cornea. Now once the diagnosis is complete, we will educate the patient about the problem, the prognosis, the need for follow-up and treatment and then initiate on treatment. With this, I hope my message was clear. Thank you.